He's always had ambitions of playing at the very highest level and has never been able to hide that fact. When your contract's up, do you understand a premiership or God's way? Well, <laughs> um, in football you never know. Somebody might come in and try to buy you at the time and uh, they might pay a ridiculous amount of money for you and Villa might <coughs> take that and think that might be good business from their point of view. How prophetic. For two years, Dwight was the subject of tabloid transfer speculation, linking him with clubs home and abroad. However much he enjoyed Villa, furthering his career was always going to be upmost in his mind. You've offered Dwight a new contract, I understand? Yeah. What's the situation there? I don't think he'll sign it. Short of shooting him, there was no way anyone was going to stop him reaching his destiny and fulfilling his dream. Just went up to United and that was it. The deal done there and then phoned my mum on the way to see what was happening. It was, must have been about 7 o'clock in the morning there. Told her all about it and she was obviously elated. By the time we went up there, we were listening to the news. Nobody had known anything. But by the time I got to United, everybody seems to know it was happening. And that was it. I'm here. His task on his debut to beat his childhood friend from Trinidad, Shaka Hislop, who is West Ham's new goalkeeper. He said he wanted to star on the television, but the cameras didn't capture a goal on his Manchester United debut. The experts offered a divided opinion on the expensive new signing. Now, Dwight York's good, but he's not that good. That is a brilliant and inspired piece of business by Fergie. He's now the final piece in the jigsaw, but it's a piece that simply does not fit. I believe York and Andy Cole will be dynamite together up front for United. Fergie must have bought him purely for goals, because he's not a creator. I'm backing the pair of them to grab 50 goals between them this season. But if, as we're constantly being told by Fergie, United are the biggest club in the world with designs on the European Cup, then our question is judgment. I think there has been a vacuum left by Eric Cantona's departure and it was difficult to fill that. I felt I needed a player who could, uh, could beat men with good balance and, and, and we tried to get Dwight three years ago and he, he signed a new contract with Villa. So he to me was the ideal player. He's two-footed, he's good balance, his quickness, he's brave, he's a good header of the ball, I mean he's got everything.